welcome back to HBO Girls Rewatch. Before we jump into today's episode, we just want to remind you to rate and review our podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And if you're up to it, follow us on TikTok and Instagram at HBO Girls Rewatch. And if you care about us even a little tiny bit, subscribe to our YouTube page. Hey, I think it's time to lean into Lena now. Let's get into that episode. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to HBO, HBO Girls, Girls Rewatch. Rewatch. I'm Amelia. And I'm Evan. And this is a podcast where we rewatch every episode <laughs> of Girls. Do you like the way I said that? <laughs> it's believable. And today we are rewatching, we are recapping our rewatch of season three, episode four, Dead Isn't Inside. Isn't it funny how we like where we go when we do the announcement where our voices go in our heads? It's like, you know, they hear, what's it called? Like, Head around, voice. It's head voice. Chet's We're doing, voice. We do like broadcaster voice. I know. It honestly takes me back to middle school when I was in charge of morning announcements. Every we don't day. have vocal fry for one second when oh, we do that. God, I loved being an anchor. I know my cousin did that too, and it really was so defining for her. Yeah, when I got in, because it's a class, so the theater teacher just picked 12 people to be in her like advisory class, and that advisory class job was to do the announcements every day. Ooh, and- what were the announcements like? was like, welcome back, Walsh Wildcats. Today, blah, 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 blah. There's a student fair coming up and the college, whatever, whatever, Wait. track meet. I'm like, wasn't, weren't you a dragonette? Were you not the dragons? Oh, that was dragonettes that was high or school. dance troupe. That was high school. Oh, you did this in middle school. I did this in middle school. Our high school did not have this. Right. Isn't that, that's weird to me. I feel like a high school would need it more. Elementary more school. Going around. Elementary school had it. Fourth and fifth graders would do it. You I would had show up early. A TV show then. Yeah, in the morning. It was so fun. I remember loving when I was eight to be in charge of the teleprompter. Because it would be <laughs> like, changed. I got to make sure. <laughs> I know, literally. I Are got you into a perfect my- SML cue card girl. Literally, except it's a boy, and I have no upper arm strength. That's the. I've been going to yoga, guys. I've been going to yoga like five days a week this entire year, and I still can't do one adult push up. (laughs) One adult push up. (laughs) When I was in middle school, I could do 40 push-ups in a row because I weighed four pounds. Because <laughs> I was on such strong ADHD drugs, I was never eating. You're a so genius. I got the most push-ups in my whole class of 80 kids. I can't tell if it's because I was so determined to prove to the popular kids that I could be strong too. Or I literally weighed nothing, so lifting my body was um, almost too easy. Totally. I bet both. I, had, I got so much clout for one week. I bet a little bit, yeah. And a guy named Spike beat me. A guy named Spike. Spike. His first name was Spike. He lived in Manhattan. Okay, who ha- had the weirdest name in your school? Spike. Well, middle school. There was this guy that went, or I don't know if he went to my high school, but he was a lifeguard with me, and his name was Rusty Hammer. Oh, his parents were so mean. Oh my god! And this one guy, Rusty his last Hammer. name was Mountain, and like his name was Stone, and like no. his sister was like river and like like it was all like mountain based wait river mountain what's her name something like that that's it's like are they white yeah oh that's just offensive <laughs> <laughs> that's really mean I don't, actually were you the one telling me that apple paltrow is doing really well and really making a name for herself okay People so respect I, the name apple? Did, I did 25 minutes and it's like walked by a house yesterday and it's like that's apple paltrow's face and what it is is that it was two windows were really far from each other because apple paltrow has a um, quote unquote perfect face for modeling but not so perfect face for um seeing because she has bioptic vision because her eyes are so far apart so she sees <laughs> everything double <laughs> so it's like the cost of beauty is um seeing in, like everything twice like that she is, literally the cost has a disability and we're all like you are the hottest girl alive we love yeah. you yeah Wait, we're sitting – you guys don't understand that we're actually recording this the morning of Olivia Rodrigo's new album release, Guts. Have you listened? No, you but already said I'm no. Like, oh, I didn't listen because I'm doing other things. Evan has a boyfriend. <laughs> um, I went to New York Fashion Week last night. How was it? Um, so – it's like every time you go to one – I've been to only a handful of like Fashion Week parties. Every time you go, though, like the first few times I went, I was like, everyone here has 10K on Instagram and a gun in their pocket and they're ready to shoot me at any time. That's how I view everyone in the outside world. No, like they are they're strapped and ready. And then you kind of go uh, a, little, a little bit more perspective. And you're like, everyone here um, has never um, felt secure in their bodies once. And it's cool to finally understand that. 
that is so powerful to realize that everyone's doing really bad. Is Yeah. But you know what? Like it's supposed to make you feel comfort. And I guess in one way it does, but it also makes me feel really sad. Like the world is bad for everyone, no, no matter what. No, no. I don't actually see it as a bad thing. I see it as a way that we all are struggling with very similar and common things. And yet not always the dialogue is there, which I, I find a little upsetting. But we all the are dialogue's not there. It's all anyone ever fucking talks about. I know, but not in oh public. Oh my god, we're all secretly anxious. But not and in public. And only when it's like you're doing something anxious. I mean, I really Olivia do, Rodrigo has a I, song about this I'm called like, Every Time yeah. She Leaves Her House, It's Social Suicide. And she's like, Suicide. I heard one of the songs on an album is about cocaine. I hope. It's like the one about like if you look up the titles, I can tell you which one's about cocaine. Read me three that you think are about cocaine, and I'll tell you the one I think. Pretty isn't pretty. She's like <sighs> I am That's pretty, but it's not pretty oh, enough. I know which one it is. Okay, wait, give me three and I'll tell you which one is the cocaine one. The Grudge. No. Teenage Dream, All American Bitch. Uh, it's Lacey. Oh, yeah, yeah, because somebody was like, is she gay? And I'm like, That's a drug. <laughs> <laughs> gay is a drug, I must. <laughs> gay, being gay thing. is so expensive because. I your group chat your gay group chat is going to some event tonight and I fifty dollars I'm getting tickets why did it cost me seventy dollars did you buy them I didn't buy it yet seventy dollars yeah because you have to buy a ticket to the event and then to the after event oh I'm going to I think a fashion week party after so I don't know if I'm going to go to after event I'm so excited for our guest today I I can't stop looking at Amelia's top because it looks like someone like took a pair it's like it was sewed shut the neck hole and then someone took a pair of scissors and cut out a neck hole and sent it to her I bought this second hand and at, is she in second hand fuck you <laughs> it's um it's from um buffalo exchange the thing about buffalo exchange is like they're so picky when you sell them clothes and then you it's go ahead and sarah though you go ahead and look around in their store at what clothes they are selling and you're like they let this one in it's- it's, I've never seen more Doc Martens in terrible condition in my life. I'm like, There's no doctor on if that If I side. brought yeah. this shirt in, they would not buy it from me, but they sold it to me. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We're going to be right back with our guest. Hi. Guys, Elsie oh, Fisher is here. Oh my God. Thank you so much for being on the pod. Thank you for having me. This is me. the best day ever. Yeah, this, this is, is my so best day ever. You, this is my personal You walked in apartment and it literally the, bright, the lights were brighter. Everything just glowed. It was perfect. I it's really have to agree. Probably reflecting off my hair. I think that's <laughs> why. It's just so light. You're and glowing. Like, yeah. yeah. They don't have to light me anymore on film sets. I just like, walk in. It's great. <laughs> that's perfect. Well, the moment you walked in the door trying to figure out if we're going to do warm tones or cool tones because we can control only three lights in here. Oh. Um, and we choose cool but if you're feeling at some point it's just like it's not working for you we can go warm okay we can always do that i mean i never usually check monitor but like that's amelia's job yeah Yeah, so can you guys like advocate for me please i'd like to be called you call the ipad monitor (laughs) (laughs) well you know everything's a monitor yeah Yeah. (laughs) and the ipad usually is the monitor is usually ipad adjacent yeah yeah definitely yeah yeah i think they come in or people have like ipod touch and it's like it's an app i'm like yeah i've seen the app a lot so every ipad is a monitor so can you explain that wait 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 what's touch I miss everything. <laughs> I was like reading a text. You're, just, like, <laughs> you're saying words we didn't wow. even mention. This is a really professional production. Uh, no, we don't. We don't and have to talk about the intricacies of media production. I know it's when anytime you're in a group chat, you get eight million texts from people you haven't heard from in years, and it's like okay, and it's actually you're distracting me from my my current situation. I yeah. can't live in a present because you have to talk about something gay right now. Do it's not fucking disturb. people. I did. I put in do not disturb, and I actually took off low power mode, so my phone wouldn't keep shutting okay. off. Okay. Yeah. So now it's in podcast mode too. Oh yeah, okay. my phone's in podcast. It's recording. Okay, do you ever take a yoga class and they're like, if you have an Apple Watch, go ahead and put it on theater mode? Does that There's happen? Theater to mode. Theater mode is just like the idea that like when you're in a theater, you're silencing whatever. But like the yoga instructors, that airplane. Is why up? They literally say, put it on theater, theater mode. mode. Are you a yogi? You went to Colorado and that kind of check. Uh, what? <laughs> Colorado and yoga feel like almost the same I, thing. No, I think you were well, – so, like, my mom's friend who is, like, staying with her right now, basically my aunt, is there for massage therapy school. Oh, which so is yoga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is – yeah. And my mom goes to yoga every morning. I'm not – I'm not part of the – No, no, totally. I haven't graduated Wait, did you get a massage? Moment. Um, I did get a massage. How many? Uh, just one. Because I was only out there for a week. And oh, okay. You can't, you can't over-massage. You have to let the muscles recover. 
I got a massage last Sunday, and the whole time I was like, I don't think I like this at all. Really? Yeah, I was like, I can't breathe. I Whoa. Was so well, maybe hot. the pressure was too firm. Yeah. Mm. You know, it sounds like you're holding a lot of tension. You're I a massage school. You're a massage school. Yeah. Yeah, we... <laughs> we all think it's paired on her, her back. <laughs> well, I'm always like, I should be relaxed, and then I, like, breathe, and, like, my entire body collapses, and I'm like, oh, I was actually, like, holding, like, this much tension as they were trying to, like, massage. You're focusing the atoms together. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't let anyone in. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. Where were you when girls came out? Um, I was nine. You were literally nine um, years old. I was. Alive. Yeah, I was living with with my mom. With in West the girl. Wait, does that I was mean, living with the girls. Well, were honestly, you let's take a clip from the beginning were, and we'll put it here too. Right. I only watched the show for the first time, like like when I moved up here. Um, right. So pretty, oh, really? relatively recently, I, w- I didn't grow up in That's a Lena family. To watch it though. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching like four things. Well, I don't. Well, <laughs> oh my god, wait! I found this out when I was in Colorado though. Is so I have a very young mom. She just turned forty. Oh. Or, Are you kidding me? She's turning forty-one this month actually. So, lie. Very very young queen. But I found out like she and my best her best friend, who's kind of like my aunt person, like lived in West Hollywood, and they went to a bar. And I think a year before girls came out, these like two guys were like, we worked on the show and you remind us of the girls from girls. Stop. And they're like, what is that? They're like, it's Lena Dunham's new show. And then it came out a year later. And my mom was like, what the fuck? We're not the girls from girls. <laughs> we're, That's so fun to I'm wait a year to find out if you were insulted. <laughs> yeah. And then I just think it's also beautiful that like I, I was raised by these women. You, you were know? raised by the girls. By I'm the a girl. child of girls. You're a child of girls. I'm, I'm Hannah's. I will say it's wow. been said on every on all of these episodes. What? You were like, I've been a child of girls or student of a girls. student of girls. Student of girls. Student of girls. Raised, raised by girls. The University of girls. girls. I mean, I watched girls for the first time in a very empty, like, Hell's Kitchen apartment. Oh, my God. Uh, my studio. Let's go in my studio. Um, and I had actually my TV. I had my Roku TV, and I didn't have, like, a stand for it for whatever reason, uh-huh. so I put it on an easel. And oh I like God. barely had a couch. I was just like sitting on oh, the ground. Oh, you have one of those easels that holds a TV? No, it, I mean, it was like literally four paintings. I just like, <laughs> I just wedged my TV in there oh. and it was like coming off and the That's audio beautiful. was terrible. Oh my God. Um, and that felt like the right way. That's the right way to yeah. watch Yeah, girls. I'm glad I waited. Wait, so. how empty is your apartment? Like, are, are we talking, I mean, now, is there a couch? now it's very furnished. It, furnished yes. It. But like, o- honestly, for the first year of my life, it was completely empty. I was just like, this is just my starter place. Yeah. yeah. Do you I'm going to move frame? on soon. I have a bed frame. Oh, did you always have a bed frame though? Or is that so, new Yeah, actually, I think that was one of the, that was one of the earlier things I got. I had a bed frame way before couch. Well, I feel like wow. the bed frame is the thing you can invest in last. Because I one time lived a whole semester of college with no bed frame and I kind of did It's right a very the frivolous yeah. piece of frame. Because like, you can sleep on the bed, you know. You can yeah, sleep on like, what does like, yeah. you really do? So you've been in New York a year and a half now and you're for, when you first moved here, you binged it all? Yeah, because I was watching like four things, and that was uh, oh, what was in the rotation? Yeah. Pride and Prejudice, two thousand five. Totally, uh, Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, no. Succession, obviously. Yeah, and then Girls. Oh, that's a that's, classic bundle. You can I buy really it on is, iTunes, like, it's, I think. It weirdly, that's a balanced food group. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I, you know, I just had a lot of emotional stimuli. Yeah, so, it was great. <laughs> it is fun that this episode was kind of sad. But I feel like good because I feel dead inside. How about you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I similarly feel dead inside. Totally. You know, I I it is a very sad episode, but I couldn't just stop thinking about how much I related to Hannah in it. Like just you know trying to check in that she's still feeling something, but also wait, that's so attention. good to emulate with that. <laughs> like I mean, I don't know if it's a good sign that I. No, it's not good, but it's, I understand. It's actually right. a really humane response, and it's kind of crazy that people... We'll get into it, but... We'll like, get into it. All right, this is season three, episode four, Dead Inside Synopsis. Ready, set, go. Hannah's at her publisher's office, and why is everyone running around? Oh, no, because her publisher, David, died. Oh, God. And now she has to run back to Adam and explain the situation to Jessa. And they're like, well, Hannah, you're not taking the right way. Why are you being so casual about it? And she's like, I don't know, because I just want my ebook to be on the stands, even though there's no actual stands, LOL. Laugh my ass off. Um, and then uh, Shoshana and Jess are... Okay, ha- and then Marnie, of course, <laughs> is, like, trying to find herself. She's listening to, like, weird audiobooks and making smoothies with just a little bit of banana. And she <laughs> finds <laughs> out that Ray and Hermes are making fun of her little music video. And she's like, actually, please, like, respect that being an artist is actually really hard. And I'm actually really brave. And fuck you. I'm <laughs> quitting Grumpy's Cafe. And then... Uh, 
Hannah is feeling very dead inside and she uh, goes and visits Caroline who tells her a very fake story about Adam's cousin uh, who doesn't exist. And then uh, Hannah goes back to Adam at some point is like talking about her emotions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Thank and you. then of course Jessa yes. is talking to Shoshana oh, yeah. about death, right? And Shoshana's like, "Oh, you should reach out to like your friend who's died, seasons. mother." Oh, yes, yeah, seasons. seasons? Se- oh, I thought season. it was summer. Singular. Se- season. 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 So she calls Season's mom, and Season's mom is like, "Guess what? She's, She's alive. alive, bitch." And then Jessa's like, "What the hell? I'm gonna go visit her." And then she goes to her brownstone, and she's like, "Fuck you!" And then Jessa's like, "Why'd you fake your own death for me?" And he's like, "Cause you're a bad influence, and I didn't know how else to break up with you as a friend." Good <laughs> job, Amelia. And that's one minute. <laughs> you are such a smart. Thanks girl. for picking up my slack. No, I no, watched no, no, the no. episode again today too. And it's like a lot happens. A lot, a lot happens. happens, and it's. I feel like it's one of. One of the more film like episodes. I'm like, Ooh, I would yeah. I would watch a whole when they're dancing in the graves. Yard, yes. I was like, this is cinema. Yeah. And also like the mandolins are so I feel like they're so present this this episode. No, yeah, they, good point. It was scored. You, yeah. It, it was it was heavily scored. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, A twenty four eat your heart out. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, we have to ask a question. Oh, Girl, what girl are you? you? Maybe if not now, I definitely have been Hannah this episode. You know, I mean, yeah. like, like tragedy is such a weird thing to deal with. Um, hi, Carhorn. Hey, girl. Hey. That's the girl. Um, that's that's what girl I am right now. Uh, what is happening out there? I don't know. I, hopefully, and this is a, a horrible Williams accident. Program, so. <laughs> Not yet. Oh. Respect the Shabbat. <laughs> um, Wait, it's funny we have like a Mary statue in the window. <laughs> <laughs> I found it on the great, ground though. here. It's like, I know it's gorgeous. Whoa. Sorry. Get this She's out. had a lot of cleavage too for I She's cool. know. Mary. <laughs> She's like really a sexy funny. Mary. They love to make Mary like boobalicious and it's like, isn't she just a girl? <laughs> she's literally a virgin. Yeah. Like, she's literally like Can we stop sexualizing virgins? <laughs> literally. Please. Did she lactate? I don't know. No, I don't know. Well, because you know, he's, it's not the same kind of. But didn't Jesus come out like fully grown? Because we don't we don't hear about his childhood. Well, we actually uh, do a little bit. Do we? Well, the I, I, I read about. Aren't him. those just three guys on the, the horses? Well, yeah, he's in the manger for like he's a baby, day, and, and then, then they're like, "You're 33, bitch." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't hear about his <laughs> 33. <laughs> what did Jesus's girls era look like? I mean, what was he doing? What was God? What was yeah. Jesus doing when he was 20? What was Nazareth up to? Exactly. Yeah. They actually they really brush over it because. And also, like, Jesus is supposed to never <laughs> sin become once. A Christ Sorry, but Jesus is literally, its whole thing is that he never did anything wrong. So it's like, never. he was eight and he was being perfect. And again, he's also Hannah. Well, because yeah. he couldn't have a girl's era if he did anything. Because you have to do something wrong if you're in your you girl's era. Do. He do would you never live like in Hannah? Hell's Kitchen. I feel like I relate to her the most. Yeah. Um, like, but we all do, you know? Yeah, it's like the show is, real. she's very real. She's yeah. too real. I see her. She's my neighbor. <laughs> um, no, but, you know, I also, I don't know. There wasn't enough Shoshana in this episode for me to really. I know. Mm. Like, that, that's my no, complaint. I, know. I wanted to hear about Kelly. I want to hear more about her. I want to hear about, about her. her bandanas. And also for you to be like, she's my neighbor. You're bringing Christ into this again. <laughs> see someone. Is it not always like, and love yourself love as thy your neighbor. Neighbor. And love neighbor. Yeah, that's, that's so true. It's so true. And I'm Jewish, and you I know, know that. a lot about Christianity for someone who's Jewish. Well, well when you live I mean, in America, Jesus you was have Jewish. To. Yeah, yeah. So to be fair. So you actually know all about him. I think, in general, I do feel myself sort of drawn to Shoshana again, sort of against my yeah, you will. You have like, a Shoshana energy because yeah, you I, are so charismatic. Thank you. Thank and you so much. What does she so say in this episode? She's like, honestly, I was glad Kelly was gone because there's only room for one. One, like, like kooky but competent. Yes. Yeah. Confidant. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like it's like Shakespeare. It's beautiful. It's literally um, <laughs> a flower is a rose ever so sweet or whatever. <laughs> Me trying to oh. quote Shakespeare. <laughs> I mean, those are all quotes a from Shakespeare. Flower is a rose. A flower ever so rose sweet. so sweet. <laughs> so sweet. Romeo. For us, miss, miss. Quote the Bible and then Shakespeare back to back like that. It's bad. <laughs> She's just a girl. She's just. But we didn't misquote that. We didn't misquote Friday. <laughs> and what does that say? Rebecca Black is all over my TikTok right now. Is that how many is other she? people? No. Okay. I don't have TikTok. 
So. Oh, you're so brave. brave. I feel like I just told you I'm sober. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our uh, eyes got really big. We're like, yes, wow. we understand. You're like, how did you know about us? <laughs> um, no, I, you know, I TikTok is so soft. I mean, you can no, no. you can see my energy. I'm, it's I'm so soft. Oh my, man. this is yeah, like. Year, what would happen to us if we got off TikTok? They went to Consider Colorado and to massage. Get, um, but also live your life. Live your life yeah, as I, you must live it now. And living my life is scrolling in my bed at 2 a.m. <laughs> like eyes burning, like gotta watch. <laughs> I mean, and don't get me wrong. I still got reels. <laughs> we, we can't escape reels. reels. We right. can't escape them. Are you on YouTube shorts at all? Or that's just for Republicans? I, I've perused the shorts. It's, it's for this Republicans. Is it? It, is like, it is. Like, yeah. Every comment we get on our YouTube shorts is someone being so mad about the way really? we talk or act because we're not Republican. But not luck. And again, <laughs> <laughs> but these are all like six, like it's for sure six year olds who are yeah. being like indoctrinated by Joe Rogan. It's crazy. Yeah. Because there's always like Minecraft or, you know, yeah. yeah I course. mean, this is not news. We all know about the multi screen Minecraft. madness, but. <laughs> I love multi screen madness. Thank I want to rename this episode of multi screen madness. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> You can just eat, yeah. I mean, then you have to add Subway yes. Surfers below it on the yeah. like Spotify. You're reading album. the New York Times. That was a New yeah. York Times headline. Wait, it was beautiful. Do you wordle or something? I don't wordle. Wait, what's I mean, that new one? I do read The New Yorker. Oh Ooh. my god, I bought um a year long subscription and never read one article. Oh, wow. Do you, getting, did you get it in the in the mail? Do no, I got the online. I was like, I have an iPad. I'll be an iPad reader, but it's like my iPad. You have Substack. So exciting apps like you have Substack. Substack. Yeah. Do you we'll like, read it, like read. writer reading. Just read. I just love anytime like a girl who's twenty two is like, here's what I think about this gift. I like that yeah. more. I'm like, That's we have to know. Yeah. We have to know. Do you have a Substack? You'd be so good at it. Um, I don't have a Substack. I I used to have Twitter. I got banned from Twitter. Um, Why did they good. Ban you? I I um j- like as they were phasing out blue check marks. I think the night before, I impersonated Elon Musk and then told him. To kill himself like six times. You are so good. Thank God. And oh then my God. I, that's I had, Jessa though. I, I know. That well, was so Jessa. They, I th- I think I have a lot of the girls. Yeah, in you yeah. Really do. Right now, I feel like I feel like maybe I'm like a Hannah Sun, uh, Shoshana Moon, Jessa Rising. Wow, yes. that's and like probably like a Ray Venus or something. Yeah, like, Ray. Like, Venus. Yeah. Let's raise one of your planets. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh my God, the Marnie line killed me. This episode where. Hannah's like, I'm dealing with the loss of a dear friend. And he's like, Marnie finally decided to off herself. Yeah. <laughs> he's so good. So good. And then he's earnest, but for him to go funny first is like, I died laughing. Is what did he had? What is it called when you have hair right here and nowhere else? Goatee? Go to uh or, soul patch. Oh, soul patch. Soul patch. Soul patch. That was a jump scare. Should for I me. Do that thing that? was yes. Definitely. I wouldn't respect myself the whole time, but I would do but, it. You know, it's like, it's, I think it's like shaving your head. You know, it's like, you yeah. have to, you have to, to do learn once. about yourself. And you have to wear a lot of like flame t-shirts. Ooh. <laughs> Should I get a rat tail? Yes. No. 100%. 100%. I've been thinking about it. You could get like two or rat tails. In. Can I just clip one in? Because yeah, I don't want totally. to deal with all the growth. You, you, they probably, yeah, but be careful because I bought clip-in bangs and then two days later got the actual ones. So <laughs> but it's you can't a grow a slope. rat tail that quick. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. What do you call it before it's super long? Like a mouse a tail. A little thingy. A mouse tail. <laughs> it's something tiny. Just, just a little people surprise. Hide it? People hide their – no, it's kind of just hair, you know, because you could have a rat tail tomorrow. Yeah, that is- can we do it on the podcast right <gasps> yeah! now? Rat tail. We make it rat tail on, and it says Amelia with a rat tail. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of sad actually that like Hannah never had a rat tail. I feel I'm like that would have been emotionally she does. Yeah, of course. Like, uh, also her her hair this whole like this season. This season just- is something special. Well, it's because yeah. she got the bowl cut this season finale. Also. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Sorry. Let what? me. I'll ask you what girl you okay. are. Girl, what girl are you? I too am Hannah this episode. I spent the whole episode watching it being like, I'm so Jessa when she's like, oh, this is just life. It's like jury duty. People die. Like, I'm like, that is so me when someone dies. But then Jessa kind of had emotions at the end after seeing Summer. Uh, I know, the smile. We were were watching and like, we're like, is Amelia Jessa or Hannah? Jessa or Hannah, because they're both going through these conflicts and not really appropriate in the right way. And yeah. then Jessa has one second of one frame where she smiles, and we're like, 
She's a Hannah. I was immediately like, well, you I'm know. not dressed in this episode. <laughs> I'm so Hannah in that everybody is like, oh no. And I'm like, I actually feel absolutely nothing. Yeah. And then like her feeling pressure to like give Adam like an emotional reaction. Like I am like, if somebody's really like sad, I'll be like thinking in my head, like what could I do to show empathy? <laughs> like in a way that's real. No, no. Yeah. Of course. Which is so Very unhealthy. Honest. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love feel like that. We're, we're really breaking down some yeah. barriers right now. Yeah. You know? We're I raw so and real here. We right are. Now. Yeah. Can, yeah. Can you ask me the question? Girl, what girl are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mourning this episode. Like, really? I make a music video that everyone hates and wants to shoot me for, but I'm just trying my best out here. <laughs> and, like, I do have talents, and really cool people want me because I don't know where they are. <laughs> and that's how I feel. Marnie in this episode was frame for frame your whole thing. No, it's my whole thing. It's Evan is constantly thing. making a smoothie with like one piece of banana and then being like, that's enough. <laughs> what? Do you throw the rest out? No, of no, the no, banana? I just put it in the fridge. So I use okay, one banana okay. for three smoothies. I feel like they, they would get really brown though by the time well, you're you ready. Well, you put it in the fridge. Well, yeah, no, it's good because you actually want a really brown smoothie. I'm really brown banana because then okay. it makes a really sweet smoothie oh yeah okay. the more and marnie running through chinatown is so me coded the way she's <laughs> and punching like this like <laughs> the focus in her eyes and the way she's like mouthing quietly like stronger better faster like that one song. no literally <laughs> it's so me i sing all the time when i'm running and i'll like do, do dance. i'll like dance when i'm running because it's I'd la- where do you run i need to okay, i need to like you. pop up my lawn <laughs> in williamsburg on saturday all of them go to Temple. So it's kind of gets a free-for-all for good old Whoa. Evan running around. It's perfect. That sounds very freeing. Yeah, it's That's, freeing. Yeah. I'm like, and, and thank God I'm the kind of Jew that doesn't go to Temple. Because, honey, I got my, this is my Temple. It's the streets <laughs> cleared. <laughs> <laughs> my meditation, my prayer. The world's temple. <laughs> Running is meditation. Running is meditation. It's re- I really did empathize with everything Marnie was going through. And, it's, and I'd never been a Marnie before in a different episode. This is really? my first time being a Marnie. Wow. Wow. How do you feel? Yeah. How is that for you? you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Heavy. Um, but you know what? It's like, I think people really, I mean, I'm always saying this, but people really pick Marnie as the first few seasons and then she kind of evolves into something much more chaotic as the show goes on. Yeah. So I think as this show goes on, I'll be more and more of a Marnie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I felt that in my life too. Like I was, I, you know, I sort of like always wanted to be her or like the facade she yeah, had. Because yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. she seems like the most put together of them, mm-hmm. especially totally. in the first like season. Um, totally. But then I felt myself relating to her as the show went on. Well, it's such a beautiful um, story of, first impressions we're always talking about first impressions are really important because you can mess up so much but if you have an amazing first impression yeah like like mine today it was so good you walked in you You could do anything now act so crazy and we'd be like they're so funny funny. yeah (laughs) um i do feel like everybody remembers marnie when she still was in art pr yeah exactly Mm. And nobody, like, everybody remembers singing but doesn't want to because it, like, hurts them. Yeah. The secondhand mm. embarrassment. Mm-hmm. Which I never get. I'm never watching Marnie sing and being like, oh, God, I'm cringing. I'm like, this is so powerful. Have you been to karaoke? It's no better. No. But that's, I mean, karaoke is beautiful. Like, that, that yeah. moment of Marmy, Marnie, Marmy. Wow. Marmy. Marmy. Oh, <laughs> wait. You have a special name for her. Oh, my God. Well, isn't that what they call their mom and little women? Marmy? I think so. I've never seen Little Women. That's it's really more, bad. More I have to go. <laughs> like, you should. I have to leave. And I pretend I did on one of the episodes of the podcast. We talk about Little Women. I'm like, yes. Can and we get playback on that? <laughs> Lucas Battles, I'm so sorry for lying to your face. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. It's fine. There's one episode of the podcast where I actually did not watch the episode I wonder episode if people can before. guess which episode it is. Yeah, wait. Whoa. Comment you down below. You had seen the episode before, but you didn't rewatch I it I hadn't before. seen it in years. And I was just pretending, like, when they were talking, I was like, that part was so crazy. That was wild. That yeah. was literally. They're like, I what was your even. favorite line? I'm like, the one where the girl talked. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> That's literally what I feel like right now. And I did watch the episode. Yeah. Today, so I Wait, have so many notes. So you know what it's good, 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 good. Lean and Selena. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. So this segment, we're kind of just going to unpack Lena's brain, really understand what is she trying to get to in the crust of this episode. Crust. The Crust. language we are I using. haven't said one word right in my whole life. And that's okay. That's okay, It's called right? dialect. And yes. That's, you just have your very own. My friend tells me to keep going to dialect class, but I'm like, actually, I'm figuring out my own thing. Well, yeah. And no no interesting person has ever had like a normal, you know, like like no, people yeah. have their, yeah. Yeah. People have their oh thing. Oh my God. I'm going to run with that. It's like, I, I don't speak right because I'm interesting. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Write that down. That's good. That's good. That's a really good excuse to have on hand. Well, it's recorded. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Make a clip of that. We'll clip it. Um, Leaning into Lena, I think this episode, she was probably like, I want to have a conversation, a frank conversation about death and mm-hmm. grief and how different people react to it. Mm. And then she did. Yes, you did a really great job. Yeah. And it's also, I mean, like, it's really well executed, but it does feel like one of the more, like, straightforward girls episodes. It's very on the nose. Yeah, it's yeah, very, yeah, like, we're yeah. not go- beating around the bush. We yeah. saw a template every... here. Yeah, we yeah. saw a template. Wow. Template. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I also, I love how it opens with her, like, running like a 1940s heroine through an office and like she spills <laughs> she spills everything she falls in the ground you know i'm like is she gonna <gasps> run into a love interest i uh, yeah it almost Ooh. felt like an anime or something you know yeah. it's like a beautiful beautiful woman moment so really. powerful yeah My, i love about this show is like every time there's a receptionist <laughs> she's hilarious <laughs> like no, and- anytime in any show there's a receptionist they're hilarious they're, they're hilarious they great. don't want to be there ugly betty all the receptionists are so funny in that show. They TV has a way of making receptionists the best job in the world. Like you're yeah. in such a power position. Everybody's like trying to get something from you and you're like, no. No, yeah. Mr. Stockwell is not in his office right now. <laughs> Whoa. But you can wait in there, the lobby. I'm there. <laughs> oh my god. What a good insight. I know. Receptionists be receptionists. Receptionists have fun. But okay. Yeah. What ha- oh she I- what does she say? She comes up, the receptionist is like, I'm not going to talk to you. And she's like, I was just wondering if like maybe, um, is it like, safe for me to be on this floor? Is it safe for me? <laughs> it's yeah. It's so yeah. funny. What a good, it's, and that's even before the whole like shenanigans with the guns. The, yeah. It's like before we were really hyper aware of it in 2013, 14 when this came out. Yeah. Totally. Sandy before Hook March 4th. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And for that to even still be part of dialogue. I know. I mean, it was crazy for me as like a first timer watching the show. There were so many moments like that that you really forget this came out in like, you know, the mid 2010s. Because it felt. It doesn't feel that way at all. No, it feels so, so current. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. I think we realize sometimes we think 10 years is so much more than it is. I know. It's like 10 years is just like two five years ago. And five years is just like <laughs> nothing. Like, nothing. Like a week or three. Two five yeah. years ago. Like five years is literally 20 minutes <gasps> No ago. one's done math on this podcast yet. So for you to do that here. I'm sorry. This is about Listen, written word. I'm just, I'm just elevating. You're elevating. Yeah. We're going to get in a new category on the chart. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that'll be perfect. You get some streamies next yeah. year. <laughs> Educational. Take that, Freakonomics. <laughs> <laughs> Freakonomics radio is what I listen to to fall asleep every night, and I'll spend like ten. Is that true? Ten to twenty minutes scrolling to find the perfect episode, oh my and God. I get three minutes into every episode. Like I've never heard or learned anything, but I love picking. I I love I I do that with Radio Lab a lot. Yeah, just, yes. like, just scroll because there's so many. You got to find the perfect one. To and I do it with Radio then- Lab. <laughs> just to bring it back oh <laughs> okay can we talk about Marnie's creative aspirations and her frustration with people making fun of her oh I know I think we can all relate to this yeah I think, it's like, you know it is hard to put yourself out there girl and these old men shouldn't laugh at you and you should have a job and the song's not even that bad the song's it's, great it's I not like, like the song actually revisiting like I mean, I think they do a wonderful job with the video. Like, the like video that feels like a beautiful, perfect, succinct parody. Cringe little thing. Yeah. It's, song's it's also Great. just like music well, videos were Falco. like that. Like, and... I've been actually listening to this song all week. I listen to it every yeah. day. For the last two weeks, I've been listening. I can't stop. It's just like dogs. Philosophy. <laughs> on the back of a cereal <laughs> box religion. <laughs> It's, you guys should do a cover. Up. Yeah, wait. I think like you let's think? put that out. You should start a bonus up. HBO Girls cover band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's actually a lot of songs in this show. There are. There are. Well, but it's songs all, they play and songs they sing. All of them are like ones that we would not be able to sing. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like woman, it's like Fiona Apple with <laughs> like us trying to sing. <laughs> we could a Fiona. We could a Valentine Fiona Apple. All right. Can you sing? Can I? I can carry a tune. Ooh. Ooh. No, I, 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 like, it's the idea, though, of ever, like, being in front of people uh-huh. and, like, singling in. Yeah. Horrifying. Sing-a-ling. See, that's why, that's why Marnie's actually so brave and so powerful and yes, so amazing. Of course. Because just sit in your home She's and, like. She's actually really brave. Yeah. 
I mean, I think she just might be really confident, and that's why. But, you know, but to be confident. Still, is to be no one ever said no to her because she's the most perfect face ever. Is that kind of the... That's true. I think uh, so. All the interviews with Lena explaining episodes, she's like, it's just so funny to put such a pretty person in such a funny situation. <laughs> <laughs> like, Allison is so pretty. Of course she should, like, fuck this guy or, like, sing this song because she can get away with it. I would love to know what... Lena Dunham Dunham's yeah. well that's how we no. pronounce it by the way Dunham, Dunham. <laughs> Dunham. Yeah. Um, I'd love to know what Lena's like doll playing days were like and also right. Polly Pocket I can't wait I, I can't cannot wait. Cannot wait I think it's like it's actually it's gonna be it's gonna bring cinema back I it's think bring so cinema back. Yeah. I think Barbie was good but it's gonna be no Polly Pocket no Barbie was a starter movie yeah. Yeah. yes yes Barbie is baby's first feminism movie yeah Polly Pocket is baby's last feminism yeah. movie <laughs> it's fifth wave yeah they're gonna try and make wave. a Bratz one and it's like we did it we yeah. actually checked it off with Polly I think so because what can what are Bratz gonna do to Polly can't you know Polly? exactly did you guys ever play PollyPocket.com? No. Oh my god. It there was, was a dot com? There was a dot com. <laughs> before the bot. I, I didn't know I didn't know mm-hmm. you could just type in polypocket.com as a little girl. So I would go to Barbie.com, scroll to the bottom where there's like a external link and to click. get to Polly Pocket World. And then I would play this one where you just water seeds and it's like crazy seeds sprout up. Like one that looks like a tiger. <laughs> Or like one that's like chewing gum. It was. You didn't think that it would oh. go here today, did if you? If anybody's no. listening and I feel like my mind is being opened. <laughs> Please reach out if you played the plant game on Polly Pocket World. I need to talk to someone. Or if you've ever done the substance DMT. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, but she quits her job. Yeah, she quits her if job. If there's one thing these girls are going to do, it's work at a coffee shop and then yell at their boss and leave. <laughs> <laughs> and still live in New York. And still I live know. in New York and also still be back at the coffee shop two episodes later. Oh, yeah. Like You can't leave get the get coffee shop. It's purgatory. It's purgatory, It's yeah. a definition. Of pur- you know what? Also, I feel bad because my friend was telling me that um, they were like, oh, they filmed Grumpy's Cafe at, um, gr- at uh, Cafe Speedy Romano. Oh my god, what? Okay, it's a pizza place in bed and it's actually it's actually the grumpiest cafe we're seeing is a pizza place in bed called Speedy Romano. Romano or something. Oh my god, and I met Andrew Andrews last night. Whoa. From do you remember Andrew Andrews from the cocaine episode? Where it's like the yes. two DJs, Andrew Andrews. Yes. I mean, we're maybe we'll get them on, but the story is um there were two guys married, both named Andrew, so they got the same last name, shared an identity for 16 years. Or they didn't. They would dress the same every <laughs> single day, do the same thing, and they DJ and like do comedy together. They both stand up. Oh my ups. god! And then they recently got divorced, and now one of Andrews is married to um, a woman. Okay, bisexual. Yeah, I great, know. amazing. Oh my god, Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> it's crazy that you met them and knew it was them. Well, well my friend was like, There's yeah, this like crazy which one? DJ yeah, here aren't named they the- Andrew? Um, my friend like- was and my friend was the manager of the club, and he's like. Every Thursday, this this DJ Andrew, and he you have to listen to his story. He used to be married to another guy named Andrew. I'm like Andrew, Andrew's here. I like <laughs> collapse on the floor. I collapse on the floor of Acme. I'm like it's all straight people, me like screaming and spinning around on my back. I I never experienced pure joy like that before. And then wow. the things he whispered in my ear, um, I wish I could say, they really are mind they're mind blowing. I feel like shocked. I know. This is a lot to take in right now. This is a lot. Like, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. (laughs) But, like, happy for you. It's big for me. It's huge for you. It's huge for me. I mean, I can, like, again, I can feel the The energy. energy I've been so dark this whole episode. And it's like, Andrew Andrews! Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I'm so that guy from um, Fairly Odd Parents. I see Andrew Andrews like, Fairly Odd Parents! It's like Andrew, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Yeah, the (laughs) teacher. Crocker or whatever his name. Betty Crocker. I forgot about him. How? How dare you? Yeah, you're right. I messed up. You know the guy who made Fairly Odd Parents is apparently like crazy now. Like now, but, yeah. Well, <laughs> but like he, in he, what way? He does like commissions, I think, and he's like like a oh, Christian yes. fundamentalist oh, or something. God. It's like when Lil Anthony, the, right the YouTuber, was yeah, fundamental Christian. That's yes. so funny. Yeah, that was so crazy when he sat in the back of a truck and was like, "God." I mean, I feel like YouTube does open a lot of people's. It does. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you have the- you ever seen Sister Wives? No, I haven't. I haven't sat through and watched it. I watched it as a tween, and then two nights ago, I found out that they are still going, and they're on season eighteen. And one of the 18? wives, yeah, one of the wives has divorced Cody, 
And the other one is threatening a divorce because now these women have agency and because they're on TV, <laughs> they figured out they actually don't have to be in polygamy low key and they could actually go do their own thing. So now these women are leaving him. And I'm like, this is awesome. Wow. Yeah, found, that's that's a Polly Pocket movie, essentially. That, that, <laughs> that should be the Polly Pocket movie. Yeah. Write that down. We'll call Lena. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, so I, sorry, this is such a random thought, but I was watching like a video on YouTube to bring it back. About um, our friend Larry David. Don't I've never met him before. Um, <laughs> and it's describing him. his creative process where he's like, he gets into situations where he's always like his id, like the terrible thing he's thinking about. He won't do in real life, but in a show, he'll recreate a scene yeah. and actually do this terrible thing. And I think that's a really great summary of like how um, Hannah is, how Lena is writing Hannah in this episode, where it's like, I'm mm. sure Hannah's had the impulse to be like, I'm actually kind of numb to the experience of someone dying because. I mean, I've experienced death in my life where I have felt such insane things. And I've experienced death where it's um, kind of water off the duck's back. Yeah. I felt something a little bit later. But, you know, in the moment, I was like, okay. And I, I understand, like, Hannah's perspective around death here. Where it's, um, like, I'm sure Lena has experienced something where it's like it should impact impacted her more. But actually, she's focused on the self. And, like, this is, it is, a, she's mourning also her book, too. Like, because it was so tied to relationship with this man and she had to fight so much for this book and in her life her the two most important things for her are adam and this book mm -hmm. and the thing she's properly mourning or like uh, somewhat mourning is the book and it's her connection to david um was never that great because he always was putting so much insane i mean as the editor does but like it was never like uh, he uh, in, it's like when she was going through the whole mental health thing yeah and, he was understanding, but it's like he also wanted to use and abuse that. Like he wasn't always the nicest person to Hannah. So I can understand her totally. reaction. I mean, be Adam so... freaking out, like, because she says the comment, like, he came to my birthday party. I didn't even want him to. And Adam's like, that's so fucked up of you to say. But it is like, she's like, low key, like, this person, like, played, like, not an emotional role in my life. So for everybody to be demanding to have an emotional yeah. reaction is actually crazy. But then everybody's like, you're an insane narcissist, die. And she's like, well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, the ebook thing is also totally sort of played for laughs in this but I yeah. think like if any you know person or artist was in her situation like you would totally totally that you would, would maybe hide it more than she did right but, but I mean like also we should be honest as a society yeah we should, like she, Hannah's being raw and real exactly and she feels competitive so about emotions with Adam which I thought was very interesting where she's like yeah I, Adam's gonna resent me because I'm not able to rise the same emotional state he's in because he is the most emotional person of all time I think it's a really interesting relationship to show the man as a more emotional creature versus yes. the woman and that's never a story that's being told and that is so well captured in the situation of lena or hannah and adam and we, we see this Does throughout she, the show she says that mm. conversation at the graveyard with caroline right yes mm -hmm. caroline was so perfect in this episode oh God, i feel like so this episode right. could so easily be so like weirdly somber and it's like how do you add energy in a way that like keeps up with the show yeah that's not awkward and it was like caroline did that mm -hmm. that's really good and caroline's story of like kind of teasing Hannah about the dead cousin and going to prom and Adam risking all to be like, it's a lie. I'm lying to you. And, and Hannah's like, oh my God, it's so twisted. But Caroline's like, no, this is kind of why I love you. Cause you had a reaction of like, um, is she skinny? Cause she it, it was a dress small. Cause she had a disease or is she just a <laughs> tiny person? <laughs> I know. I feel like this, this like episode did yeah. highlight a lot of the similarities between Hannah and Caroline for sure. Yeah. It's like, like, probably similarities. Hannah doesn't care to think about. Yeah, it's very much holding up a mirror that she's not ready to look at. I really want to talk about season and Jessa. So yeah, the whole I love story that part. of it. Because it's like, Tashana's first, like, telling her dramatic story of losing her friend. And Kelly. Jessica, Kelly. Kelly. And then, and then, and then Jessa's like, wait, what did you just say? Like, completely forgets that whole story. And then tries to connect with Seasons while she's drawing in her journal. And then actually finds out that Seasons is alive through her mom. And then confronts Seasons in her house with her baby. And then is, like, kind of happy about it at the end. Well, she's happy her friend isn't dead. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, well, I, I you know. Why there, do you think she's I happy? I couldn't tell why she's I think happy. maybe there's, like, a, a sense of, like, you know, self-recognition or whatever. Like, maybe, maybe... You know, it opened her eyes a little bit. I don't know. I, I mean, her smile at the end, like, is sort of, 
it's it's everything. It's both of those. It's yeah. like she is happy that season is like alive. Um, and I'm so also very like shocked, like yeah, totally. Like literally, she thought she was dead. Like that's crazy. That is crazy. But then also, I felt like kind of a like depressed, self hating smile a little bit too. Just like yeah, like yeah. are people better off without me? Prospect you know? Park is a place to, for a lot of emotional reflection. First of all, yes, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. always doing that there. Well, I think also we know from Jessa that she's obsessed with the idea of like somebody caring Mm -hmm. like she was so glad hannah came to pick her up from rehab because she was like somebody cares enough about me to do this because when we meet her dad it's like her dad just forgets her like she feels like she doesn't exist because nobody remembers her Mm. so it's like cool i think she's almost like recognizing that like she did mean something to summer even if it was or season even though it was bad she was like (laughs) this this person mattered to me (laughs) and i had such an influence on their life that they literally had to fake their own death to get away from me. That's how powerful I was. Like, I think it makes her feel like she exists and like actually has an impact on others. Yeah. Herself. That's a really, this is a very big, like narcissist Jessa episode for sure. But, but like the actual clinical, like narcissist. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh my God. I really are all dealing with mental illness. (laughs) This is a show about mental health. Yeah. And that's why we all need to take it. Cause even Caroline and um, Hannah have a conversation about SSRIs. And right, and which is like before med. everybody had better help. Yeah, before better help, there kind of was conversation sometimes. Mm, mm. And like, what weird times? <laughs> like, I mean, a world without better help is a world I don't want to be a part. I mean, like, give the code. I'm just gonna um, <laughs> for ten percent off your first month of better help, go to betterhelp.com slash These girls girlies. are bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, no, better help is being wildly canceled and nobody should use it. Therapists hate it, patients hate it. Check out alma.com. I love Alma. I and that's not even that's not even a plug. I use Alma okay. and I love Alma. Alma, that sounds like like it sounds like the lead in for a for a dirty joke like <laughs> all my junk, <laughs> all all my pussy. Wait, when we pitch to Alma as a sponsor, we'll send this clip. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, um, you're welcome. We'll send you for, residuals, for winning with the sponsorship. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Of course. Again, sex strong. Sex strong. <laughs> oh, I actually had an interesting question. Just in general. Mm-hmm. It's like, who do you think the male director or, like, writer um, to Lena Dunham is? Like, the counterpart in our society today. Paul Schrader. (laughs) Who's that? (laughs) What? Is that the toe guy? No. That's Rob Schneider. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, Paul Schrader did, like, First Reformed, and he wrote Taxi Driver. Oh. And he, like – but he's, you know – he actually actually has a great, like – uh, you can find it online. He talks about Lena and how oh, she's really? like, oh, really? yeah, about her impact on this generation of writers. It's very funny because he's just oh like God. a weird old man. Well, his yeah, I'm his Facebook's find that. great, also. Oh, he's like, a Facebook. Yeah, and you and there's an Instagram that reposts his Facebook, so you can just okay. follow them straight through the gram. It's that wonderful. is wonderful. It's very interesting. That is wonderful. Yeah, I'm yeah, connecting think, with every generation. Yes, yeah, wow. of course. Oh my God, I love it. I guess Facebook. You know what? The more I'm learning, the more we find out that Facebook actually is an amazing tool for everything. It is. Well, I mean, because like even just its history, though, I know. as being like the like first like major social media site, you know, people are still on there. People All my furniture still. is from Facebook. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not true. But I like a lot to go of on is. Facebook via Safari and see like what my, uh, my parents, friends are parents up to. Yeah. Friends are up to. <laughs> it's so much power. It's so much so power. Much power. Really, it's like. It actually reminds me of Jessa being like, I want to know what su- season is up to. Mm. It's yeah. kind of the yes, digital version yes, where yes, it's like, yes. I actually do want to know about like my friend from 12 years ago's mom's aunt. Like what's her story right yeah. now? Yeah. And like the knocking on the door is the equivalent of giving a poke. Literally. Like it's amazing. <laughs> Wait, okay. I found <clears throat> out. I just have to say this fact for everybody. Amy Schumer originally auditioned for the role of Shoshana in HBO's Girls. Right. And because in the pilot, Shoshana's originally written as 27. Yes. Oh. And then they wrote her as that might So let's on. do a little thought experiment. Visualize for four seconds what that would might have been like. The posters <laughs> would be different. Oh, I mean... I would, play elevator music for four Will seconds. we ever have Trainwreck if we had her as Shoshana? Wow, that's a great point. 
Would no. we ever get to see her alongside Bill Hader? We never have life after bath. Oh god, which was so good. <laughs> I I love that show. Have you seen that show? I haven't seen that show. It's oh, low key my god, really, it's good. really good. Really good. Is it on Max? Hulu. I think Hulu. 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 Hulu's got the good stuff. Yeah, yeah I think we're even getting a season two of it soon. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I still gotta watch Chasing Amy. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's like the HBO documentary about her being pregnant. What? While on tour? Oh, I just read Amy Schumer's book. Okay. Girl with the lower back tattoo. Whoa. So are you are you guys Schumer Amy, heads? Yeah, we're Schumer strong. We're there's so many people that hate Schumer. We've come we're around like, though. She's actually really yeah. good, good at her job. I know. It made me mad how people reacted when uh, it came out that like she originally wanted she was Barbie. Right, and everybody was like, I'm like, why are you so angry? She's very funny. She's very funny. Let the girl breathe. Whatever. Okay, fine. She's a millennial woman, and some of her jokes make me LOL want to die. But that's fine. I still respect her and love her. Absolutely. I I mean, she is, in a a way, sort of our generation's, like, George Carlin, I think. Yeah. (laughs) Like, she just, like, is, you know... Not she's beloved by many, hated by many. She's kind of like she'll say it all. Twisting a she's cane. She's a little Lena Dunham coded. Can kind of tap dance a little. Like, oh, I'd love to see her do vaudeville. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> tap dance in a way. <laughs> I want to see that from her. Okay, we have to keep going. Oh yeah. What else happened in this episode? Um, mm-hmm. Well, Laird is funny. Oh my God. I know. I love. So I love funny. when Hannah sees Laird for the first time and is like, "My close friend died." And she's oh, like, but- "I don't care. I don't care. It's fine." <laughs> Please stop hugging me. I don't actually care about him. Yeah. But the turtle, like he's like he can't like go oh. death. How did he get it in the? Oh, I know. I in know. the palm. Bottle. I'm sure they were like prop comedy is back. Like they were like let's do this. No, he did bottle on a ship with a turtle's carcass. A ship in a letter in a bottle. No ship in a bottle. But literally, like he, like, like deconstructed a body and then put it into the fucking pomegranate double deuce and then he reconstructed it. Yeah, because like you, you see no lines on that bottle. No. Like there's no clear have to point be, of entry. I'm like, I want a Instagram live of the art department making that. I think Ooh. we can get it. Okay, I yeah, it. yeah, we'll yes. get it. Yes, yes, girl. <laughs> like, we some creative friends. Um, if you died, the world would blur. I wouldn't know what a tree was. Such right. a funny Amazing. line. So good. Kind of a famous line. I feel like I see that on like Tumblr. Yeah. Well, I think people probably like to put, like, they, they put their ships, you know, they're like, you know, bingus from whatever, yeah, say, you know, Yeah, you know. yeah. Yeah, no, well, when I'll she's like, part. I'd be really sad, but also worried about rent, I was like, valid as hell. Real. Girl. Again, like, played for jokes, but I think all of us would feel that way. Yeah. Would- and what do you mean if... So- a tree blurs. And we're allowed to laugh at death here, too, a little. Yeah. Like, the con- it's kind of like this guy died in a kind of ridiculous way where it's like Gawker's reporting on his death. He's like, he didn't do drugs, but he did. The argument about Gawker, the website. And oh my Hannah's God. like, I've met a lot of E-friends. And Adam's like, <laughs> what is this Br- charade? Bring of- back E-friend. Girl, get, get your Glock. Glock. It's, it's rapid, rapid fire, fire time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That was great. That was beautiful. Your eyes doubled in size. (laughs) It went Grinch gross. I I, I felt it. I felt it. I I hope I didn't frighten you. No, 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 no. We're sorry we frightened you. Me a little. No, 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 no. Um, You have to answer these so quick. Okay, ready? I'll do my best. Set. Where are you illegally throwing away your trash? Uh, River. River. What's on your grilled pizza? Um, Anchovies. Truth or dare? Truth. What's your favorite utensil? Uh, fork, 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 fork. Are you the voice of your generation or a voice of a generation? A voice of a generation. Would you rather grab a glass of OJ or stay and talk to Jessa? Stay and talk to Jessa. Oh yeah. What damning video of you are Ray and Hermes watching in the background? Um, uh, 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 they're probably watching me at like fourteen playing Minecraft. Yes. Oh yeah. What's your go-to gymnastics move? Oh, uh, um. Round off. Attem- <laughs> Attempting a split. But like <laughs> never split. successfully going through. What would make you forget what a tree was? Uh, t- um, not wearing my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a picture of Tom Hanks? Yes. It is. <laughs> do you want to do that one? Oh. How fast do you get dressed? Like five minutes. Oh my God, oh, that's yeah. quick. Uh, is time linear? 
Uh, no. I mean, that's the last question. Never. Is Never. Well, because you know what? If you're watching this episode, sorry about the how fast you get dressed. But you watch Hannah get dressed for the cafe. She doesn't in less than, I timed it less than 10 seconds. The girl gets dressed in 10 seconds. I've never picked that outfit that quick in my life. It's I cool. love that we got naked Hannah also. I know. I love that we got like, naked it's, Hannah. Is it a girl's episode if, we, if we're if we not seeing Lena's boobies? Literally. That's part of the template. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple. It's like oh, Miranda and, Gabby, and Sex in the and City. And Gabby Hoffman's when she's doing a cartwheel. It's like, of course she doesn't wear a bra. Of course <laughs> not. But it is crazy because I feel like in a TV show, if a character is getting dressed, it's like they're doing it actually in slow motion to write out the scene. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that it's like she's so fast. doing it so quick, it's like, damn, okay. Sometimes it's a climax of a like, show, but here it's just a feature. Yeah. It's just yeah. a little tidbit. And that's what makes it such a well-rounded piece of art. Literally. You know? Literally. That is beautiful. That is wonderful. We're really hitting this octave today. I know. <laughs> we're we're trying to figure out where yeah, our voice is. This one. <laughs> this one. Mind. I love it. Okay, we have one more segment. It's oh called God. That, that Outfit, outfit in, in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, where we compare <laughs> Brooklyn now to Brooklyn then. So we kind of already covered Caroline because her outfit is really Hers so is then great. and now. It's yeah. It's it's almost arguably more now than then. I I, I, I agree. agree. Like she was way ahead of her she time. She was ahead of her time. Everybody yeah. was like, that girl's crazy. And, and she's like, I actually just because time isn't linear, I'm hanging out in 2023. Absolutely. And also Post-man. Marnie is really ahead of her time here too, because she's listening to a mindfulness podcast. Or yeah. like calm app. I'm like, how did she get calm? <laughs> she was listening to Headspace. She Literally, was on Headspace she was... before it was invented. That is so true. Yeah. You know what was so 2012 was her using a blender that isn't a Nutribullet. Yes. I'm yeah. like, that would never happen today. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah. Oh, and Gawker. We're talking about Gawker, Gawker. Jezebel. 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 I was I was doing you know like little trivia research on this episode, and apparently <laughs> Lena in real life is going through like sort of a Jezebel scandal around the airing really? of this episode because oh they, I guess Lena did like a photo shoot for Vogue and then Jezebel in this like weird move was like, we'll pay $10,000 to anyone who releases the unedited photos. <sighs> and they were trying to like do it in like a pro feminist way. And, and then it turned out Lena had the final say and like they didn't edit anything other than lighting basically. And Lena was like, even if I did want them edited, whatever, I'm like in great clothes surrounded by men and dogs. Like, <laughs> Oh, it's that photo shoot? Yeah, that photo shoot. Oh, yes. I love that photo shoot. There's the balloons and the dogs. Yes, and yeah, it's yeah. so like Wait. sad. Oh, but my so God. like Jezebel was actively like what being crazy hell? to her when this episode aired. That's and she named incredible. Fuck like, Jezebel. Yeah, like, Glad crazy, they're gone. Right? Sorry, guys. Is Gawker dead? Well, because, you know, Glocker, Glocker, Glocker Glocker. came back. Girl, get your Gawk. Glocker. (laughs) Well, because it died, and then it came back under the scope of, like, four Brooklyn comedians, and now it's dead again. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they came back. So it went on bed. Much like Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It resurrected, and then kind of just went back away, but didn't leave it. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost Gawker twice. Darn it. Shit. Okay, you know what? Lena was wearing, when they went on the walk to the graveyard, she was wearing those ballet shoes that are literally coming back into style right now. Yes. Where they're, like, tied up. I you love those. those. I don't own them, but I want them. You should yeah. Them. I know. Depop. Depop? Are you Depop? on Depop? I, I, I buy. I'm it's hard so to find 44, though, mm-hmm. European. It's hard mm-hmm. to find 44 European or 10 and a half men. Mm-hmm. 12 women. Every time I go on that app, I get really overwhelmed and then immediately go to Amazon.com. <laughs> well, what are you getting on Amazon that you'd be? <gasps> yeah, what the hell? Like, um, like gray tank top. <laughs> Great. I, that's on, you know, I think, I think essentials you can allow yourself yeah. to, you know. But even basics. buying basics on Amazon is dark. It's not good. Yes. No. I buy underwear from Amazon sometimes. Yeah, they have a lot of good options. Sorry, guys. They actually have every option. And These some yoga they do. Yeah. Amazon. Oh. Exactly. My Ooh. oh, not Amazon. Well, my HBO Max socks are Depop. Oh actually. yeah, wait. Can you show? Oh my god. Yeah, get them in frame really quick. This is this is my. I'm doing my best to do my gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> That's a split you're attempting. <laughs> oh, so powerful. It was so powerful. Anything else that was very 2012? I'm trying to think. The the office. 
in the beginning. Yeah. The mm. way it's it decorated. Zoom meeting now. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a Zoom meeting and also the decoration to decor, like that, the beige undertones. Like now it'd be open concept office, but back yes. then it's kind of, they got more of a cubicle system going on. Yeah. Yeah. You've yeah, never yeah. seen a cubicle in this day and age. I also feel like the Marnie YouTube video would be a TikTok that actually got traction and has a lot of mean comments and they're reading yeah. through the comments. But that, I think there would be people, like, there would be an extra part to that sort of like plot line where people came full circle on it yeah you know yeah and she would become like a local hero yeah <laughs> or she got like like she got the like sped up reverb yeah <laughs> reverb remix it's like reverb, when they it's re- sped up. yeah, yeah it's yeah. nightcore remix more yeah yeah <laughs> it becomes like an edm song at the club <laughs> yeah. yeah it's full like full-on hyper pop um, you're literally a perfect guy so thank you good. do you have any closing thoughts that you would feel sad going home and having not um said? Well, the only other piece of trivia I learned is that when Marnie's like, uh, I I, do, I think it's when she's making her smoothie or something, she like pulls on a handle and you can actually see it fall off and <gasps> hear the sound of it dropping. That was that one in. of the goofs on IMDb. Oh my, my God. God. So. You're so I'm good. That. I'm going to clip that. You're coming that. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Thank you for That's like this. Up. This much praise is bad for me. This is no, when no, well, we barely even my ma- like my Marnie side is getting <laughs> really strong right now. You're like, I have to go shoot a music video right now. <laughs> yeah, here Guys, we can do it. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, where can people not find out about your projects and stuff? Um, well, if they if they're you know if do they're you doing their launch Facebook your Substack right now. Yeah. Um. Oh God, I need to get a Substack. One of these days. So watch um, out for Elsie's eventual sub stack. Yeah, one of these days. But for now, you know, Instagram works, whatever. Yeah, find them on Instagram. I'm, I'm verified, so you just start typing in my name. It'll Ooh. pop up. Sam, where were you when you got the check? The check? Yeah. Um, Ooh, I don't know. I th- actually, it's a beautiful story. I was... Uh, at Sundance Film Festival oh in no 2018. Way. Oh my god. 14. I was like super, I don't know why, but I was like like up very late at night or something. Uh-huh. And I just remember being on my phone going like, like just waiting yeah, for course. it. And eventually That's... after a refresh, it like popped up. That is so oh. exciting. I, I like lived like a childhood dream that day. Well, it's, it's also like for back. that to happen when you're 14. It's Crazy. Like, that's the most emotional time in a person's life. Oh, yeah. So it's like if, if it could have hit at any time. It literally time. felt like winning an Oscar. <laughs> like that felt huge to me. And it also <clears throat> did like I should not have been verified that young. What was I posting on Instagram? <laughs> like there's like no a one photo know of a it was cupcake I took a bite out of. It right. Yes, and I'm like, ah. Like, oh Amelia, you forgot to order your cupcake yesterday. Oh, I know. We, were, we during the photo shoot, we did a bathtub, but we didn't get you through bathtub cupcake. I was oh gonna God. Uber eats a cupcake so I could eat it and be like the pilot. That's I'm gonna slip out of this apartment when we when you're leaving. I've never sweat more in my life. I know. Okay, wait. I know it's like a sauna. In here. <laughs> we have to go because we need to turn the AC back on. But we'll be back next week with episode five. Um, this like, is- subscribe, do all this stuff. Um, check oh, out Elsie. Yeah, please. Oh yeah, subscribe. On YouTube, if you're watching, but also subscribe on Spotify or Apple as well to stay updated on our most recent releases. I'm trying to get that number off. Bye. <laughs> Let's